Cabin one. The Degazi, from my understanding of what I can piece together, the Degazi was like, was this like an Aurora type situation? Like we've got Aurora survivors, Degazi. This is like a totally separate thing from like our group or whatever. I think. Is this game worth twenty bucks, dude? It's worth it's worth seventy bucks. It's worth a hundred bucks. It's worth. It's worth all of the bucks, honestly. I, when I went to buy the game, I legit couldn't believe that it was 20 bucks. I was like, what? It's, 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 I get that it started in early access and all that, but I couldn't believe how cheap it was. So yeah, it's worth, it's worth all the bucks, honestly. How many peepers is it worth? It's worth about 364 peepers, if you think about it. Ugh. Okay, look, I don't have a I don't have a code to to cabin one. I don't think, so I'm gonna go into into captain's cabin and then maybe we'll find another door code somewhere. Two six seven nine. This is going to be important. It is mind-blowing that this is worth 20 bucks. Okay. Loading program. Keg McGill Simulator dot Vrat. I don't know that extension. Size, one player. Captain Hot Dog Hollister. Oh, he's playing a game. Map, Boreal 9. Resources, normal. Okay. He's playing a game. You're exploring a quiet alien backwater. When the ship you arrived here in implodes, it must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? Search the crash site, farm alien plants, or use the tectonic de-imploder. Unavailable. He's going to farm alien plants. Obviously, speaking of... Uh, <laughs> War paint, thanks for the four months, buddy. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Ikerian... With the, with the alien plant uh, reference. Thanks for the 420. The ship reminds me about generation ships in Elite Dangerous. Sent uh, as colonization ships in 22nd century, then forgotten and rediscovered in 31st. Empty cold with data logs telling you the story of their slow, lonely demise a few hundred years later. Doomcoy, thanks as well for the bits. Says, I'd like to th thank Sony for this donation. You're doing great, dude. Things are getting so hype. <laughs> thanks. Uh, I don't have to thank Sony anymore, you guys. They were great. They gave me that- They gave me Shadows of the Colossus really early. And I needed to thank them, and I did. And I appreciated it. Lucas, thanks for this new sub, buddy. Thank you so much. Um... You know what, what that reminds me of, Doomkoi? Your, uh... Or, sorry, um... Ikerian? I- I haven't played Elite Dangerous. It's too intimidating for me. But... The idea of finding those logs and, like, seeing their gradual demise. Do you guys remember the very beginning? Uh, we're just going to take, a, like, a, a two-minute breather here, okay? So everybody just, like, get up and do some stretches if you need to, okay? Because it's just a two-minute quick breather. Uh, do you guys remember the beginning of Horizon Zero Dawn? And you go into that, you go into that, I don't know, that, like, uh, for lack of a better word, like, the uh, dungeon or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. The, the, the safe, like, the safe facility, or whatever. Uh, the underground facility. Well, uh, that's all I can think of. And, uh, you find those logs, which, <laughs> which leads to, like, which leads to all of the, uh, like, slow demise of those people that were under there. It started out, like, all happy, and then you find out how, like, terrible it got. Do you guys remember that? That was one of the coolest parts of the game, and... My only complaint, I don't have a lot of complaints about it, but one of my only complaints about Horizon Zero Dawn was that they didn't do more of that stuff, because that was some of the more interesting backstory stuff that they had in the entire thing. Yeah, like, the, yeah, the suicide party stuff. You remember that? That stuff was crazy. 
And and you only really pieced it together if you found like all of the logs in there. Uh, but that was really cool. That was a cool way of doing uh, the logs and having it be like an interesting but sad story. Uh, blinded by the noise. Thanks for the bits. Says, can we get an odd dab? Uh, I only dab on weekends. Sorry, man. <laughs> Thanks, though. But I'll, I'll only a dab on weekends. They're they're prohibited during the week for obvious reasons. Okay. Uh, let's go back in here. So it farmed the alien plants, to which it replied, That's just what Craig McGill would do. After foraging for some hours, you have collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs. Which will you sustain yourself with? Stank root, tree roaches, or starwall eggs? Obviously starwall eggs. While the starwall eggs are nutritious, the life cycle of these vast, space-fearing creatures is much too slow to sustain a farm. And besides, their mother is extremely angry with you. So you could fight the star wall, apologize to the star wall, or accept your fate. We're accepting our fate. Craig McGill knows there is no reasoning with a mother scorned. You are not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and disintegrated. The atoms that you thought you were gradually re Oh. <laughs> the atoms that you thought you... are... The atoms that you thought you are... Gradually redistributed in service of the Star Wars continued survival. Would you like to continue? No. Okay. This is just a game he was playing. This isn't even important, is it? I don't think so. This is the real story right here. I don't I don't think that is actually. Oh, I could have scanned it. I could have scanned it. No? Oh! <laughs> it's the shelves. Oh, thank god. Thank god we didn't miss that. New blueprint acquired. Last recorded data transmissions. New PDA data. Neptune escape rocket. Blueprint's time capsule. Uh... Okay. Neptune launch platform. Provides a stable surface from which to launch the Neptune. What? We don't have the Neptune in here. Do we? I don't think so. Huh. Okay. Time capsule. These sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval. In addition to a small number of items, time capsules are often fabricated by maroon survivors, seeking either to aid those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future, or to leave evidence of their plight which might be found long after their bodies have disintegrated. Most emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule by default, usually found in the cockpit, and be jettisoned on takeoff. Altera requests time capsules be stocked with tools and resources which will aid those who may discover them in the future. So, I think I know what these are. Uh, on Twitter the other day, somebody replied and, like, added my name to something where, like, there was this dude who, like, left a time capsule of, like, a bunch of his fish or something, and apparently they were all his pets, but then another guy found it and then, like, ate all the fish and then read the note after that these were his favorite fish and they all had names and, like, very specific feeding patterns and stuff. I, I think that's what the time capsule is, right? And I don't know, like, if, you, if we just find these randomly, but I'm guessing that that's what's going on there. A very... Yeah, yeah, and this, this, this tweet that I saw had, like, thousands and thousands of, of retweets and whatever, and then uh, 
there was like a, a, a website article about it that Grumpage is talking about. Like it went like it was a deal. So I think that's that's what that refers to. But that that's cool. I just I don't know how to find them and I don't want to know how to find them. So don't tell me anything. I don't want to hear anything else about it. I, I, I didn't like that. I got that. I didn't even want to see that. But like it happened. So it happens. What are you gonna do? Okay, here's the escape rocket. The blueprint was developed at Altera's headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. Takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources. And is piloted by AI. May be adapted to em employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. Consists of five independently constructible elements. The launch platform, which we have. Uh, the floating platform provides a solid base from which to launch the rocket. Gantry provides structural support. Stage 1, primary thrusters for reaching atmosphere escape velocity. Stage 2 is the fuel reserve, and stage 3 is the cockpit. Has one person life support, short range communications, uh, adaptable power supply, orbital shielding, and then onboard time capsules. Onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. The use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. That is cool. Last recorded transmissions, guys. So... I'm guessing that we gotta build that thing eventually to get off the planet. We build. We gather, we build, we enter, we launch, we fly. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Oh. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications, really, offline. Now, that guy... Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course. Aurora? 4546B. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Meda, the cut price. Same guy? Average long range trans. It's just the same actor, not the same character. What? Why? Why would you- why? Why? This could literally be any voice. That is so confusing. Because that got me thinking, like... If this Degazi thing happened separately, but then we've got the captain of this ship being the same dude... Okay, it's just not- it's not the same thing. Same- same actor. Not the same dude. Right? <laughs> this is why it's only 20 bucks. I totally... Actually, all the voice acting has been exceptional. It's been, like, A+, plus, honestly. Uh, okay, it's a diff different guy, so that's good, because I was about to get, like, super confused. Okay, well, that's kind of like now we know what the end game is, right? Uh, how are we doing? We're doing okay for water still. Okay, okay. Now, uh, not being able to get into cabin one is really going to piss me off. So I'm hoping that we find an entry to that. Oh, oh, no. Wait, did that fire start again? I guess so. Colix, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Can we all say hi to Colix? Colix is a great dude. Always so positive. 
Oh, this is a prawn suit poster on land, prawn suit poster on sea. Relationship, contract, legal, recorded. Uh, salient Slayer, can we- can I do a quick rundown of- of everything I know so far? For those that couldn't watch everything? <laughs> uh, I mean, we- I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot, man. I- I- it's really- that'd be- I would have to- I- not that I don't want to, but it would take me an entire stream to do so. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. <laughs> How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. Oh, no. How That's is it still so a relationship sad. if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. All the guys this in the prawn bay. This is why I want to change our arrangement. <laughs> Jesus. Wilson. I think Wilson gets around, you guys. Uh, Elheim just got dumped pretty hard. Uh, okay, there was a question about... Uh, epidemi Epidemics? I'm probably saying that wrong. Epidemic, uh, XI, or 11. It says, uh, great content. Was wondering if you're up about up-and-coming Let's Plays. Will you be doing Kingdom Come Deliverance? Uh, I'm definitely going to check it out. But my expectations are very low. And I'll tell you why. Uh, from what I've seen of the preview stuff, it doesn't look, like, super polished. And that's okay. But... That whole setting just doesn't necess doesn't always do it for me. But I've been wrong about a lot of games. And one of the things I'm going to do this year is I want to try a lot more games. If I don't like them, I don't like them. If I do, then awesome. So I'm definitely going to try it. Uh, I just I just don't have super high expectations of it. Uh, so yeah. Jason All, thank you so much for the three months, buddy. He says, oh, ship! <laughs> what up? Thanks again, buddy. That's really kind. Uh, Emmy, me, Baxton, thank you for the bits. So lovely watching you play this on YouTube. Love seeing you play it blind. It's not often I can be on Twitch, but it's nice to see an odd face. <laughs> it is. It is an odd face. I'll give you that. And Bro Code, thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Says, good afternoon, Nod. Hope you're having a good stream so far. It's 8 a.m. in the morning in Japan right now. And I'm having a great time. Remember, overconfidence is slow and insidious killer. How was your flight, man? I remember you telling us that you were, uh, you were, like, in the airport waiting for your flight to Japan. And then I saw something... Uh, when was it? Yesterday, maybe? I saw something about, like, Japanese culture or whatever, and it made me think about you and your trip. You'll look out for it? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna- I'm definitely gonna try Kingdom Come, but I don't know- like, my expectations are low. Maybe that's a good thing. Altera Elms Pamphlet. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, sick. A battery. Okay, let me get rid of this. Altera Al Alms. Charity is an archaic concept which the realism of today's Alterans has rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get the most for ourselves is to work together with Altera. The implication of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Altera Alms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. We prefer to think of ourselves as a phil philanthropic beneficence facilitation facilitation service. Philanthropic beneficence facilitation service promoting synergy between employer and workforce. AA, 
Altera Alms, operates on a lottery system. By investing any number of credits, you'll be entered into our prize draw. Larger investments yield higher chances of winning. Your credits go towards training unskilled colonists in vital tasks such as maintenance and interpersonal skills. The colonists receive this training voluntarily and free of charge on condition of a minimum contract with one of our investors on completion of their training. Kind of sounds like a bit um, pyramid schemey, does it not? Sounds a little pyramid schemey. So easy to do that. They should make that more difficult. I probably could. <laughs> I wonder if you could just cook them on there, actually. It's empty. Is this even important to get over here? Probably not. Doesn't look like I'm getting in cabin 5 anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much, Little Tater. <laughs> My name is Little Tater. My brother, Big Tater. He's the real deal. I appreciate it, little tater. Huh? Thanks, man. Natural selection two. Is that what I think it is? Huh? Man, there's like so much stuff in here I can't take. That's rotten fish. It's- oh, that's the same devs? Is that the- that's the shooter, isn't it? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be real choked if I can't find a, a way to get into cabin number one. I will honestly be devastated. Okay, here's a question, guys. Uh, don't spoil it, okay? I just need a yes or a no. Do I have the information required to get into cabin one? On my persons. I see a whole bunch of no's, but I also see some yeses. <laughs> Can never count on Twitch chat, eh? Like, Jesus Christ. You have it! You have the code! No, you do not have the code. Go find the code! The code is right there! I don't think I can laser it. You can only laser certain doors. And I don't believe this is one of them. Okay, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking. Thanks, guys. Cuz, you know what I will say is, like, so far... You guys know how, like, one of my one of my uh, self-diagnosed problems is terrible memory. I feel like... You know how I know when I'm really into a game? Is when I remember, like... I remember more stuff. It sounds... It sounds really silly. Oh, I have... Oh, yeah. It would be in the codes and clues. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. 
That's a good point. That is a great point. Thank you. Uh, I don't have it. I don't have it. Veer Tech, thank you so much for the sub. And Bro Code, thanks again for the bits, he says. I know nothing and I can prove it. Thank you, buddy. I believe you. But, uh, yeah, this game, I feel like I'm, like, so in the zone. It's literally, I'm thinking about it when I'm not playing it. Uh, when I end the stream today, I'm like, frick, we got two whole days. Two whole days to get to the street, to get to another stream. But on sa after Saturday's stream, it's only one sleep. So that's pretty good. There's a, uh, I see that there's a hydration bot. It says, uh, you've been live for just over two hours. By this point in your broadcast, you should have consumed at least eight ounces of water to maintain optimal hydration. <laughs> Is that a real thing? That's amazing. That's really amazing. I, uh, I have my coffee going, but I do have water as well. Oh, you saw more food blocks on that? Okay, well, we'll, we'll check it out. Uh, we want to go into the locker room. Maybe somebody's locker would have a, a code to their door or something. That could be a thing. Rick, we haven't been underwater forever. Almost forgot what it feels like. I actually want to make space for these batteries if I can. It's no, e it's no easier to get them under here either. Whoops. Okay, I want to make sure we're pretty thorough down here. We'll let this guy swim around for a bit. We may or may not eat him. There's tons of batteries. Like, I'm probably going overkill, but honestly... We can find titanium anywhere. Sweet offer. Integrating new PDA data. From Huggins to Wilson. Remember, Wilson is the, uh... The, um, where was it? This one here. <laughs> Wilson wanted to dump. <laughs> I would like to reduce our contact hours. Okay, how much further can we do that? To zero. Okay, thanks. Uh, you're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year, and you never took a ride on the outside? Well, now, you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. We've got... Uh, we've plain got nothing to do till we get Starside to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars? You've only got to stay- you've only got to say, My spare prawn suit's got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily, mechanically augmented hands. Want to play catch with a passing meteor? <laughs> Come by cabin number one! Code's 1869. Well, shit. We got it, guys. Integrating new PDA data. Aurora Auxiliary Mission Orders. Mission. Search and rescue. Target. Crew of the Mongolian vessel Degazi. Oh. Last known position. Vicinity of planet 45. Hold on. Let me get some air here. Okay. Auxiliary mission is like secondary mission. Right? This is like, hey, you're going out there anyways. So if you can, do this. Am I uh, correct about that? Oh, let's save. Good good call. I think I'm correct about that. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, they're coming out here anyways. They might as well look for this Mongolian vessel, the Degazi. Cool. The contact is Mongolian em Emissary Yoki Kazar, Aurora Passenger Quarters. Okay. Uh, 
Mission brief. A Mongolian vessel, the Degazi, disappeared almost a decade ago, carrying with it its high-ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate insurance has purchased passage aboard the Aurora for Emissary Kazar, and your orders are to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degazi crew members without compromising the primary mission. Uh, confirming the fate of the crew will aid Altera's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian councils. Mission details. Aurora is due to perform a slingshot maneuver around 4546B, Category 3 Ocean Planet, approximately 13 months post-launch. This will bring the ship within range of the Degazi's last known position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in the Aurora's cargo package for this mission. Degazi crew manifesto has been distributed to senior employees in a separate message. This, uh, Emissary Kesar. We know that name. We know that name. <laughs> Fuck. Is it? Uh, Emissary. Oh, this guy! He's the weird dude. Entering planetary atmosphere. Entering planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. Yeah, this guy. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one on and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. <laughs> uh, this was the dude that they sent to organize the auxiliary mission. Right? Interesting. He's weird. He's a weird dude. He was on the Degazi? Wait, am I misunderstanding that? Hold on, let me check. It says the contact... See here, it says the contact is the Mongolian emissary Joki Kesar, Aurora passenger quarters. Which means he was on the Aurora. No? Yeah, he was on the Aurora. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. He was on the Aurora. He's, he was, he's the guy that they sent, the emissary, to, like, manage this mission, I guess. And... The Degazi was a Mongolian vessel. He's the Mongolian emissary on the on the Aurora sent to manage this mission. You know, chat's never wrong, but sometimes they are. But it's okay. It's hard to follow. It's hard to follow. Okay, drive room and Seamoth Bay. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Right. Forklift? Not scannable. Might be thinking to yourself, well that's obvious, that's a land vehicle. You'd be right. Makes sense. The drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. <laughs> is that is that a test? <laughs> that might that might be a test. Uh 
I, uh, I missed a couple of things. Hannah, thanks for the bits. Jesus Crust Pizza Party, thank you for the bits as well. Put this towards a bigger ocean backpack. Thank you so much. Um, Anonymous, thanks for the five bucks. Says, have your stream up at the ambulance station. Have not gotten a call since you started streaming. Can you stream for the rest of my 36-hour shift? 36 hours? Do you get to sleep during that shift? Like, is the you must have, like, uh... Even though it's 36 hours, they must expect that you sleep, right? I didn't catch your name. You, you didn't put it in the thing, but... And Dutch Alex, thank you for the tip as well, buddy. Uh... It sounds like we have a birthday. It sounds like we have a birthday in the chat as well, by the way. Uh, Stacy? Stacy? Is it Stacy? Happy birthday, Stacy. Chat, if we could if we could get on that. That would be awesome. If we could say happy birthday to Stacy. All that water and there's still fire? Well, it's probably because of oil and stuff, right? Holy nuts. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Cyclops engine efficiency module. New blueprint acquired. Cool. So <laughs> It says I shouldn't repair here. It said I shouldn't do it unless I was qualified. Oh, do I dare? There's another- oh, there's- look, there's a bunt- oh, hold on. There's another platform over here. I don't think I'm gonna do it, you guys. I- I think we should follow the Altera's message. Uh, would that be in here? Yeah, right here. The drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. The drive core shielding. The drive core shielding. The drive. The drive. The 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 the, the drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Guys, like, you can't be trusted anymore. I'm sorry. I think we need to reduce our relationship contact to zero. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What if we... What if we die? We have all this stuff on us? Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll do it if we... End up getting off of here and we can come back? Whoa, that was weird. Frick. This looks like a problem that... That needs a bigger tool... <laughs> than what I currently have. Take that out of context if you want, okay? Maybe we can upgrade to a sicker repair tool later. This... We, this we can handle. Because I, I honestly don't think that she would say, like, uh... Don't do it if we, if we couldn't do it.
As much as you guys would like to see me blow up. I think it's a bad idea. VR sweet. Loading program, Desert Island Drama. Three players, resources normal, spawning players on beach. Player 1's been washed away by an unusually high tide. Player 2 has traded a coconut with player 3 for 10 credits. Player 3 has planted a coconut. Players are getting hungry. Player 3 has grown a coconut tree. Player 3 has eaten a coconut. Player 3 is no longer hungry. Player 3 has traded a coconut with player 2 for 30 credits. Player 2 has eaten a coconut but is still hungry. Player 3 has traded a coconut with player 2 in exchange for building a tent. Player 3 is sleeping inside their tent. Player 2 is cold. Night falls. Passing ship is offering trading. Player 2 has traded 30 credits for a musket. Player 3 has been shot twice in the head while sleeping. Player 2 wins. Player 2 has died from cold and starvation. I know what game they're playing. That is, uh, that is 100% Oregon Trail. Seamoth Depth. Oh, we have one of these. Looks like we could have got a free one. Should I be making space for these things that they're dropping? It's just titanium, right? We do need water. It's just titanium. I do wonder if, like, if, um, fixing, fixing this drive room is important at some point, because it's very strange that when we enter, she says, don't, don't do anything, because you'll, you're dumb. Uh, when we first found the Aurora, our tarot told you it was leaking radiation. And it would do irreparable damage if not fixed. It's one of the voice logs you want to review it. Uh... Yeah. Well, and also we got that message saying when we came in here that something was going to blow up in the next 24 hours. Right? Oh, man. So, like, I'm not sure what to do there, but I don't know if it's worth risking all of this stuff that we have. Even if we save, though, even if we save and try it, I don't even think that matters. Because wouldn't we just return to base anyways? I think the save is more so that if I quit, if I quit the game, then, uh, then I come back to this part. But if I die, I'm still going back to the base and losing my stuff. So I don't, I don't think it's wise. Yeah, but then we're doing the whole like save reload thing. It's just like, that's not my style. You know, I like to have consequences when I die. All right. She told us we couldn't do it. I'm going to trust her. I'm going to assume that it's a terrible decision. Sweet offer. 1869. Well, hello. Responsible autonomous relationships. Forward by Jenny Eckert. Uh, all the good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value. Support, motivation, affection, nothing good is ever free. If every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging their original supplier by changing their purchasing arrangements. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it is performing competitively. There's always room for improvement. That's a interesting way of looking at it. Blue cap. Wait, what? Incompatible with protective environment suits. <laughs> Arcade gorge toy. Comforting. Yeah, I could see that. 
Is that is that all we came in here for? All right. So I think we should leave. I think that's everywhere. We basically learned that we can get off this ship. We got a uh, we got a blueprint or get off the planet, I should say. We got a blueprint to build a ship. Uh, well, to be fair, I only got the the launch platform. I think. I don't see the actual Neptune in here itself. Uh, also, the prawn suit now would be crucial. It's something we should focus on. And I guess we'll just keep going from there. Zippy says, uh, dude, just play the game how you would if you were playing without an audience. If you don't think it's wise to repair it uh, on your own, then don't do it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, totally. I'm right there with you, buddy. Right there with you. Okay, let's do Sea Glide. <laughs> Shit, where is the exit? This frickin' place is gonna blow up as soon as I leave, isn't it? That's why we got that warning. Why do I need this out? Holy moly. Wait, what was that? Oh, this is the one we already got. Oh. <sighs> At least scan the engine room. Did I miss something? <laughs> 